All right, YouTube. Today we are going to play uh, Owen Turtonwald's Black Red Aggro deck. This is uh, this is likely something pretty close to what my teammates are going to play at Philadelphia. It's got no new cards. I don't know if there's any new cards that should be in there. It's like Doomfall potentially, but we're going to give this deck a run through this morning. Um, I only played one league with it, and it went pretty well. Seems like a pretty solid deck, so I'm just gonna give it a whirl this morning. String some standard. I don't string too too much standard. I'd like to stream more standard, but it's difficult to uh, with my schedule to keep up with. I, I opened up the modern league. That's how you say I'm playing modern. It's difficult to keep up necessarily with um with how quick the standard metagame moves. <clears throat> wow, Jabberwocky has seven trophies. He didn't have like. Now we got one this morning. He's going quick. Andrew Jessup got another one yesterday. With the deck that he was, he wrote, probably wrote about at Star City. I should put the deck list up here while we're waiting. Yeah, I like this deck. I don't really know too, too much about it. Um, it's just really aggressive. I whooped, like, some Flame of Keld version of Mono Red yesterday with, like, I just chain welded, like, two or three of their creatures, and that was just, like, damn. For, I, I played this, I played Standard about a month ago pretty consistently. I certainly forgot how good that card was. But wow, MTG bots going and everything. MTG bot like was on the struggle bus for a little while, but now it appears to be good. Um, I on the draw, and I'll keep this hand. Might not play my Soul Scar Mage on one because it kind of actually completely destroys my curve. So probably gonna go like, well, so now it doesn't really just destroy my curve. So now we're gonna try to curve out. Isolated Chapel probably means playing against a control deck. Okay, so let's get in here and attack, and then I'm just gonna play Scrap Heap Scrounger. Now I probably should have I should have played Arctic here in. It's one more damage. Yeah, that was a mistake. And then I could have played like my tap land last turn. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna compound my mistake by not doing the right thing. But I did miss out on a point there. <clears throat> I'm not used to playing with prowess creatures, like <clears throat> I'm used to not doing anything before combat. Because that's like usually pretty good sequencing, but with prowess creatures it's not. So, gotta gotta remember that. This might be a good time to play <coughs> to play uh, my tap land and play Scrounger, especially if I can't get a creature with a Chain Whirler. Okay, so this is like the Black White Knight stack. So my opponent doesn't hit anything. Now this Black White Knight deck doesn't have a lot of X ones, so I might just play my Chain Whirler because it's a pretty good beater. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think the Chain Whirler is a decent beater, so and I can just crew my heart and smack in. It's gonna be interesting to see like if I lose um because like my opponent should be at 17 going to th 13 now. Ooh, I have the Soul Scar Mage thing too, so I should have waited on my Chain Whirler. Definitely should have waited. These are those little things that you miss when you come back into standard, haven't played a deck in a hot minute. Because that's brutal. It might have helped me deal with the Knights more. Because <clears throat> now this Knight can brawl with my Chain Whirler. <coughs> Uh, 
So I think I'm just going to be mana efficient and play my um, and play my mountain and then play Hazret and crew and then attack with the Chain Whirler and Heart of Kirin. This lets my opponent bring back like Knight of Ma Grace with Gideon, but we're going to be able to just we're going to be able to kill Gideon with the heart. Unless they have a push here. And then even if they have a push, we have Hazard in play, which is pretty important. So. Looks like we're going to trade. Okay. That's not a bad block from them. This The heart doesn't do anything. Or the Kite Sail Freebooter doesn't do anything. So. <coughs> we're pretty far ahead on the board. I can like play scrap, play hub, ditch a card, and then attack with Hazard next turn, which is right up my alley. Oh, well, now I, I still kind of want to ditch a, the scrounger, but that seems kind of weak. Just gonna play to the board. Now I have to see actually. So ditch this, deal them, they go to 16, they go to 12, crew. I guess it's actually better to ditch it because unless I draw a creature. So I can just bring the scrap creep scrounger back next turn. So and then to crew and then crew the uh, heart with that. So I will ditch the scrounger. Crew my heart. <clears throat> and then can I just attack? Is the, the Soul Scar Mage attack seems kind of free. Like I'm kind of throwing it under the bus, but if they don't have a removal spell, which they did last turn, then they're taking nine. Yeah, so I'm just going to swing in with the team here. They just scoop it up. Okay. <clears throat> that was kind of unfortunate for them. So. Um, I don't have any idea. I would assume they win probably like two thirds of their games at the Pro Tour, which is pretty sweet. So we're gonna go in the air, I think. I don't really want Chandra against the History of Vanilla deck. I think I want some Magma Sprays to deal with the Knights in the early game. Um. I don't know what else to board out. Well, I want Disintegration against Lyra. Don't want Doomfall. Um, Scrappy Scrounger doesn't seem great. I guess Bowman Courier also doesn't sound great. Like, we're not going to be able to get in with it regularly. So maybe I can cut Bodad. I think Bowman Courier is better than Scrappy Scrounger. Do I have enough ways to crew this heart? I might not have enough ways to crew heart of Kieran if this is on the sideboard. <clears throat> Again, I'm not super, super great at um, figuring out how to sideboard. I don't know how to sideboard with this deck, so we're just kind of winging it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut my, I'm gonna cut one heart of Kieran and keep one scrap each grounder in. Just shave it a little, I guess. Okay. Yeah, it seems pretty good. We have a uh, spray to deal with a knight. We're going to get Bodad working here. Hopefully they play a knight and not a whatever the card is. Um, Freebooter. Okay. That's good for the home team. Oh, shoot. That was such a misplay. Because now I can't play Chain Whirler. Now I can't play Chain Whirler. 
you gotta shake the rust off when you get back into a format. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna magma spray anything here because I would like to be able to get my um, hazard going on. So I am gonna spray this token as bad as this feels here. <clears throat> and hopefully I find a three drop play. Nope, we didn't find a removal spell, which is not bad. I just want to make sure that I can uh, get Hazret and get it attacking. This is a Planeswalker. This isn't good. Okay. So he's just going to put a counter. Alright, well I'm just going to... I'm going to do this anyways. Always yield. Then play Hazaret. And if I draw a land, I can at least Glory Bringer. My opponent plays Lyra, we've got that covered. It's a pretty good draw. Then we just Glory Bringer this thing. Tapajani. No cast out. Nice. Okay. That relieves quite a bit of pressure. So I draw land. I can like land disintegrate and attack or a two drop disintegrate and attack. So hopefully we get something to point this the unlicensed D at. That'll probably correlate with us winning. If we get to do that, this deck still seems pretty good. Like, there's a lot of people that are messing around with like Nickel Bolas, and those decks just seem like <coughs> those decks seem pretty slow. All right, it's a good way to start. So how's the chat doing this early morning, or I don't know, wherever you guys are? It's about 6.20 here for me. Philly boy, my cute little puppy woke me up this morning. <clears throat> so I am up and going. Going to get a good stream in before the Star City Games, and I'll do a little bit of work, um, take Philly on a walk, go shopping, and then I'm going to probably watch that. <clears throat> or probably work out and watch that. That's probably what my game plan is for today. Yep, we're going to keep this. Make sure to not play our Swamp. This is going to be a pretty good boat at hand. Thinking about their mode of peers. All right, we are off to the races. Like this bow dad's gonna die. But we gotta back up. <clears throat> Ooh, they let that go. Okay. Ooh. Big ball of stats there. Alright, well I think we're just going to <clears throat> Clear this thing out. So, what am I playing against? Zombies or the God Pharaoh's gift deck? <clears throat> All right. Just 
play Azeroth and pass. Then I can like ditch the scrap heap scrounger next turn. Or we can just smoke this thing with Chain Whirler. Ooh, no, the zombies. Holy shnikes. We're getting out of control here. Hopefully Hazard can uh, take me home here. <clears throat> For the Zealotons and Scombi, plus one, plus one, plus one Death Touch. This is whenever another zombie comes into play, it gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. So this is getting buff from this and this. Holy shnikes. <clears throat> We're gonna deadlands my hazard probably. Jeez. So I guess I'm just gonna play this out. So I wonder. I guess the chain whirler is a decent body. Also, so it's probably better to just play the Chain Whirler or to ditch the Chain Whirler. <clears throat> it's probably better to just play it. Shoot my opponent for one. Add to our board here. <clears throat> like having two, three, three first strikers on the battlefield is probably going to be pretty decent. And then this hazard is just going to start abyssing my opponent. Unless they've got something sweet here. Oh, they're just making more. Okay. This is a 5 fiver. Holy shit. <coughs> <coughs> so we're probably going to start throwing away. Ooh. All right. Well, this game's over. This game is wicked over. For the top three cards of your library. Target your minus with this number of zombies you control. Holy shnikes. Alright, well this is gonna help a little bit next turn. They might just deadlands this thing, but we can deal with that, I guess. Or we or we can at least they're wasting their whole turn with that. <coughs> Then hopefully I draw a red land so that I can attack with <clears throat> one of my bow mats and then sack it. Alright, so just smoking my chain whirler. Play another one, geez. This card looks sick this morning. So what put the top? Okay. Alright, well, I guess it's time to make some blocks. Chump this, chump this, take six. I guess I should have. This was stupid. I should have gone here. That was dumb. That was very dumb. I should have uh, t double blocked here and then just taken a million. <clears throat> and then hope that my <clears throat> chain whirler can help me out. <clears throat> that was stupid. Jeez, they have to push too. This went all. This went so bad. We didn't have enough. We didn't draw any removal to help deal with. All right, and I guess I removed like a poor creature. Also. So we're gonna get in with this scrap heap scrounger at Liliana. <clears throat> and they're probably just gonna deadland something and get me, but this at least I've got good blocks now. I no longer have good blocks. Yeah, we're just we're super dead. Yeah, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna scoop this up. 
Jeez. So I guess I got a little aggressive killing the um to get my bow mag couriers going. So I think I want like all my creatures to fly and like a bunch of removal. So I don't think these bow mag couriers are very good because they're just gonna clog the board up. I want my magma sprays. I think I want all my removal. Bow Dad doesn't seem great. I have to cut four more cards. Um, I'm on a board like like this is similar to Mono Red. I know Owen cuts these, and I'm just gonna cut one more card. Just cut a Kari Zev, I guess. We'll try this. I'm going to cut my Chandra's when I'm on the draw, but I think coming down and being able to like, smoke a synergy piece is pretty important. That was a really impressive draw from my opponent. Like, I thought that game was in the bag, but we were way far ahead. <clears throat> Alright, we'll keep this. We don't have a remove. We only have one removal spell, but we can go two, three then up the curve. So I'm gonna play this to show some show a little weakness. Okay, Canyon Slow's nice. The way our hand looks, it's probably getting cycled. Nice. Then I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna play the uh, PNR. I'm a big fan of uh, whatever it is in this deck. Um, Soulscar Mage, especially if the Zombies deck is good. But I might be interested in playing one more of those because it's just a good way to help mitigate like a huge board. So I think I'm just going to send here with the team, and if my opponent blocks here, I'm just going to chain whirler right away. I still have the Thopter. I don't want to disintegrate this when I can potentially deal with it with chain whirler. Yep. All yield. I guess we'll go like this. I think I'm. I think I'm still gonna end up cycling this canyon slow. <clears throat> and I'm likely gonna do it. I probably should have done it on my main phase, I guess. Okay, attempt that, sure. So let's cycle now. Okay, it's a little unfortunate. So we still have disintegration going. So disintegration deals two, four, Deals three, then we've got four, so my opponent's... Ooh, nice. All right. It turns off Disintegration, but I think we're just going to let that go. It's not worth hitting this with a removal spell, but that's 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 cute. It's pretty sweet. Okay, let's cycle this. Flatten out a little bit. Is a little unfortunate for the home team. They might just trade this off to save themselves some damage. But <clears throat> we are just kind of chugging along. This game goes pretty south pretty quick. My opponent finds a way to deal with this card he's have though. Unless we draw one of our big mana cards. 
Okay. So things are gonna get sketchy here. I would love a glory bringer off the top. That would be gas. I think that's worth hitting with a disintegration. I guess I could have untapped because, like, I likely. Yeah, I mean. So at least we get that out of the way. <clears throat> I could have untapped probably because I might have hit an artifact, and that puts this game into, like, a pretty scary spot. Nothing from the opponent. They're just going to memorial back something. Ooh, that's great. Um. I'm gonna do this before combat because I might have. Um, I don't know my deck very well. I don't remember if I have hates cards or not. Okay, Dragon Skull Summit. So you got Memorial something? No, they're gonna kill my Chandra. Okay. Well, Chandra got in for two, kind of negated the life gain from that. So they can. Return something with Memorial. This is Liliana's Mastery. No, they're gonna Deadlands. It's okay. Come on, Glorybringer. Rough draw. We've drawn a lot. I mean, we've drawn, we've drawn a lot of lands, but like we also did hit the necessary tools to like keep pace of what my opponent was doing. Hopefully they just deadlands this. They don't do anything else this turn. That would be great. So bring back Lord of the Cursed. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so they can deadlands my Phoenix. And they're still dead. Okay, nice. So now I gotta figure out how to sideboard on the draw here, because I don't really want the Chandras in my deck. I wonder if the Doomfall is decent. So I would like to find a way to kill to get rid of these three cards, I think. Like I wonder if the Doomfall is okay because I have so much removal. I don't really see any other cards I want to bring in, so I might just leave one Chandra in, cut these two. And then bring these in. Doomfall can be kind of clunky, but it does at least with however many. We've got what? 3, 6, 8, 11, 12. We have 12 removal spells, so the Doomfall should be able to do some work. So we'll give this a whirl. This Zombies deck looks pretty nice. Hey, Philly boy. My dog's like, I want to go see my mom. Problem is that Philly just annoys the hell out of my wife in the morning. We're going to keep this. Hopefully we have to pick something off with this chain whirler. Okay. So I don't really know if I want to kill this or not, or like if there are higher priority cards to kill. But I'd like to kill a metallic mimic here, I think. So I'm gonna take a shot here. Okay, dire pool. Jeez. Alright, well we gotta trade. If they go into a lord, we could be in trouble. Definitely might might be in trouble. Hopefully Chain Whirler can <clears throat> at least stabilize the battlefield a little bit. Hitting, hitting something to play on two there would have been very good. Yep, there's the Lord. Then I can give them Menace. Alright. Alright, Chain Whirler, do, do, your, do your work. Looks like a Contempt. No. Jeez. Oh, this deck is 
This deck is explosive. I could have blocked there, but I don't think it's going to save me. Man, that was one hell of a draw. That was impressive. That was really, really impressive. Zombies? Zombies OP. It's probably got a decent control matchup, too, when you think about it. Like, it's got access to four duress now. I wonder what that means with our sideboard. If we want to, like, work anything else in or not. But that was, that was nice. That was a really impressive draw from my opponent. I got worked. All right, I would like to play first. Peter. Hopefully we can get hopefully we can slide our canyon slew into play on two. Probably gonna do that regardless. That was impressive. Start working our Bodad. I love Bow Knight Courier so much. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna play Bodad. Play this canyon slow. <clears throat> this is interesting. So maybe I wasn't supposed to play. I guess I did just drew this red land. So if I didn't play this, I wasn't going to guarantee to play my Chain Weller. I think I could just attack and then deal with it and be mana efficient. But I think I want to hit, want to either take advantage of a little bit of a bigger board or hit a Metallic Mimic. It comes like a push probably on one of these boat ads. Yeah, you got it. Nothing from the opponent is interesting. All right, well, at least I can get it with Soul Scar Mage now. I think maybe we want one more Soul Scar Mage in the deck. If this Zombies deck is, is actually good. Uh, it appears to be pretty good. I've got to assume that it's it's got the tools to do well. Um, you know, like the black removal is pretty good. You've got Duresses and Doom Falls after sideboard. The Liliana seems really good in this deck. The top three cards, our creature. Yes, yeah, so they just picked this off. Oh, this is going to be nice. So then we send the Soul Scar Mage, okay. So I, I kind of don't want a Glory Bringer right now. I would like to hit something with it. Next turn is pretty relevant. Because I can just play this Chain Whirler, hit this, hit this, attack here, attack them for three. And then the Glory Bringer can take out something a little more relevant, uh, re relevant next turn. You know, something that's got more toughness. Attack, attack. It just sets up a bigger attack next turn. If my opponent plays like a Lord of the Accursed, you know, you just bang. Or kill, if they go like double two drop here. Mastery, okay. That, and that's dealable in the way that we can deal with that now. If they play another mastery, we might be in trouble, but. Okay, so the question of the day is can I get in with this Soul Scar Mage? I don't think I'm going to, because the Soul Scar Mage can shrink and make it so it can eat a zombie next turn. 
when I can use this lightning strike. <clears throat> I guess it would have forced a chump, but I think he was going to chump anyways. Another mastery keeps him in it. On the board, at least. They, don't, they can't play around the lightning strike. So I'm going to sideboard the same way I did last time. I just want... These bow dangles don't seem like they're going to do a lot. Um, we'll cut the hearts. Maybe the hearts are actually okay because they can attack in the air. Hearts probably better than something like Karzev. I don't see Karzev ever doing anything actually. So how's the chat's morning going? How are, how are you all? <coughs> Like I missed some follows. Oh, those were from yesterday. Yesterday, excuse me. You all should follow as I'm getting close to a thousand followers. At a thousand followers, I can begin to apply for more um, sponsorships. I'm uh, part of the Card Hoarder Network, so I can start to stream like more content, do cooler stuff. Uh, so we have a couple removal spells, so I'm going to keep this. My opponent Mulligan, which is nice. Alright, we don't have a one drop, so I'm just gonna like play, show some weakness. It's good that we can interact on two, three, and four. Should be pretty solid against this deck. Though I might want to go up with my Doomfall upstairs. Okay, Dread Wanderers. No second land for our opponent. Yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna try to like go upstairs before my opponent can play like um before my opponent can play like Liliana. So I'm just going to kill this now because I'm fairly certain that I want to protect my life total as we saw last game. Keep this thing around because we could chain whirl at some point. God, chain whirl off the top would be so nasty. Dang. So I could go down with my Doomfall. And it could deal with one of these forever, which is nice. And it's mana efficient. That's probably the right thing to do. My opponent has to hit at least two running land drops. So and this does just deal with it, which these are gonna be pretty probably pretty annoying going long. Unless I draw like a chain whirler. I think we just want to trade here in the early game. Next turn, go like scrap heap plus a braid. Okay. I then have uh, disintegration up for next turn. Definitely gonna hit this lord. I'm going to hit it inside of combat so that we just take less damage. <clears throat> okay, no plays. Alright, so let's attack first. Hopefully they just give this the Baraska's Contempt. I don't think that's that's what they're going to do. They might, though. Oh, they're going to kill it. All right, great. At least now this Hazard's not going to get Contempted. It could get Doomfall. It'll be my opponent's last card, though. I would love to draw Scrap Heap Scrounger, dish Scrap Heap Scrounger, and then reanimate Scrap Heap Scrounger. That would be my jam. 
It's nice that there's not another one of these. No, there's another one. Oh, wow, that was so sick. We've drawn pretty well in this match, I think. So we smoke one of these, get in. They can bring it back, but it comes into play tapped, and it's probably going to be too slow for that. Especially if we draw an artifact. Probably my best draw is honestly like P and K. Because P and K stabilizes the board um, and lets me disintegrate something. So hopefully there's a P and K. Baited by the title. Is the title, is it still the Death Shadow or did I update it? I updated it with Black Red Aggro, right? Oh no, I didn't update it. Sorry there, Thorberg. I, I lied to you. It's inexcusable. Let's get rid of this. And I think I think I was just gonna like not give my opponent the chance to block, even though we don't we lose out on the disintegration. Makes it so next turn my opponent's dead even through a blocker. So I need to find exactly like Vraska's contempt, and then it's like if you contempt it, then you're just gonna get chewed through by this glory bringer. I'm a terrible person. I am such a baiter. All right, nice. So that that was went much better playing against zombies. I'm gonna go hit go for the next match, and then I'm gonna go grab myself some more coffee. I appreciate you guys all for showing up. Um, my name is Dylan Hubby, and I'm a part of the Card Order Network. Uh, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Um, it's easy, it's free. Make it so that I can get closer up to doing uh, more stuff with uh, content creation, which I like doing a lot. Um, oh, hang on. Go to mom. Sorry, puppy. Puppy was going nuts. Um, yeah, so hit the follow button, please. So best way to make it so I can start to do more cool stuff. If you want to support me more? Go on, head on over to YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's another way. And uh, if you want to talk magic with me, just check me out on Twitter. Okay, so it appears like we're back. I would like to play first. We've been lucky with our die rolls, which is always nice. And we will keep this. I'm going to lead on the canyon slow. Hopefully we hit our third land. Oh, my dog. puppy just barked. He never barks. Because I'd like to go two, then three, and three. It's going to set us up pretty far ahead, I think. I'm just playing 0 and 75. I don't play enough standard to really know what the right thing to do is. So we're playing against a Nickel Bolas deck. So that's pretty nice. Hopefully we get to just eat a Glensley Siphon on two. That would be so gas. We could just eat this Siphoner up. Nope. Maybe we're just going to play this Kari's Ev again. I'd love to eat a ch eat a champion of wits, eat a chain whirler, or eat a whatever it is. So I should get some action from my opponents. So let's bring this in here. So again, I'm probably gonna play a chain whirler now because we have a second one after combat. Are they gonna counterspell this? Nice.
These are a little open in Nicol Bolas, I guess. But we actually get kind of free attacks if they play Nikki. We'll just discard our Chain Whirler, and then we can attack with everything. And no matter what they do, we can finish off Nikki. Hold it, Nikki B. I wonder if this is one of those wild decks. This can't be one of those, like, the double Chain Whirler decks or whatever. I've been playing against some decks that have both Chain Whirler and... Oh. Stream still doing okay. Oh, looks like we were dropping frames, but we're good now. Had a little bit of had had some issues. So I kind of want to keep this in my hand because the only thing that it's super relevant with is if I hit a glory bringer, I've only got two glory bringers in my deck. So I could play another chain whirler. Always yield. Yeah, I'm gonna play this chain whirler. I'm gonna keep this Kanga slow in my in my hand. I get pretty punished if I draw Glorybringer, but that's kind of it. Supreme Well, okay. So they are digging for land. Which is good for the home team. It's kind of good and bad, because that means our hand's really good. So. So I'm assuming that's what they took with there. Took the hub. So I'm going to attack first. There's no haste creatures besides Hazret, and we can't play Hazret or Glorybringer. And after combat, I'll cycle this canyon slew. Spray the token, deal. Okay, so I'm going to play this land. I'm going to hold this one to ditch to Nikki. The old Nikki B. That card's been impressive. I, I haven't. I haven't seen like a good deck around it. Liliana. Okay. So I like to go up, and then we can hit the token. We can kill it. I don't want to. So I'm going to untap because I can cast. I can double spell everything in my deck. If I hit Glorybringer, I want to save this Lightning Strike. So I'm going to untap. Okay. Didn't work out. So let's go here. Play Bodangle. Go to combat. I'm going to attack the... We're going to yield to these. We're going to send the token at Liliana. And I guess I should play my land now. My opponent Scarab Gods me. That's not good for the home team. Yeah. Rut row. Three, six, nine. So my opponent has to block no matter what they do. So I actually can play this Chandra before combat, attack, finish off the Scarab God, and sack Velmat Courier, and then hit with this Chandra after combat. So I'm going to play this. 
go to attacks. We're just emptying out the hand for boat angle. Opponent has to block something. They should block. Well, now they're just dead, right? Because this is three, six. This is only six, so they go to one. So we're definitely going to sack this. So is it worth setting my opponent back or getting two cards? And they're going to go to one. So there's multiple lethal attackers. I think it's worth getting the two cards and then putting them to one. Okay, so we hit another bow, bow dad. I already played a land. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, so. Nope. Give me one second. Be right back. Yep. You're annoying mom. Okay. Alright, so against this deck, I assume. So I don't really know what my opponent's deck is. Because like there's so many different forms of that, but I'm assuming I want my big my big big guns. I probably don't want something like Soul Scar Mage. Um, I probably want Disintegration, because they probably have Nikki B. Um, Heart of Kieran doesn't seem super great, because it's tough, and we want this Doomfall. Heart of Kieran seems kind of poor, because it's going to be a little tough to crew it, because they have quite a bit of removal. And then, so I could just cut all of my hearts, then bring in Duresses, maybe cut a Braid, keep in Lightning Strike to keep... Soul Scar Mage Honest. Yeah, we'll give this a try. I have no idea if this is right or not. Just got a little bit of everything. Yeah, let's give this a whirl. I don't want to. I don't. I want to cut some removal, but I don't want to be just completely left in the dark from uh, whatever the card is. Um. Ugh. I don't want to be completely naked to. I can't even think of the card's name. It's annoying. Um, Let's see, Siphoner. And I think I'm going to keep my hand. An early Bodad. I might play the hub to play Bodad on one. It doesn't really throw off. I can still play Chain Wheeler on three. I can't play a two drop now, so I'm basically like choosing whether to play Bodad or a two drop. And I, I kind of want to play Bodad. Just starting working the bow, the Bowmat Courier against this deck is pretty nice. We got Tapland City over there. So now the big question is: Do I want to play? Want to set up Rekindling Phoenix on four or Chain Whirler on? Three. Probably can rekindling Phoenix on four unless my opponent slams a way to kill this thing. Way to block something so an X one, I guess. God, I love my career so much. Okay, so this gets murked. That was good to see coming. It's nice that it's a magma spray that doesn't hit scrap peach grounder. If I'm going to play the champion, I think we're just going to get rid of it. Okay. Play this. Play Canyon Slow. OK. 
Okay. Hey, chew your toy. Chew your toy, buddy. All right, so there's Nikki B. Then ditch a Kari Zev. So now we're definitely going to play Rekindling Phoenix. <clears throat> so be in trouble. If they have a uh, contempt. No, they're not doing anything. Okay. Alright, so now we're just going to start getting aggressive. Probably play two double spell. They might just block and then have a removal spell and then try to bring it back. That's odd. They did that, they missed out on four points of damage. I mean, I'm not sure that... Uh, I, like, it seems... It seems like putting me under pressure is pretty good. So we have some potentially good attacks next turn. So... Play this. We can pump it two, three, four. so we can represent a trade with this, which will make my opponent use a removal spell and a thopter. What are you doing, Phil? Dog is going nuts this morning. So we're trying to send him with the Kari Zev and the thopter, and then I'll, if they block, uh, even if they block, I'm, I'm going to play Goblin Chain Warlord no matter what because I don't want them to like block, then reanimate with Liliana and get my last card. I would like to empty the cards in my hand. If they block the Thopter, then I'm going to go for it. But this is a probably this is potentially a pretty big tempo loss for me, but. Um, I think it's worth just trading while you can. If they reanimate it, I'm going to be pretty sad, but... Like, here comes Liliana. But at least we get to kill... Yeah, gross. Yep. Got my chain whirler. <clears throat> so if I attack this in Ragavan at Liliana, this at them, and this at them, I think that's my best attack. Too bad I can't exhort the, exert the glory bringer. So this is attacking Liliana. This is attacking my opponent. This is attacking my opponent. Ragavan is attacking Liliana. So now Liliana. Or we either crack my opponent for five, or Liliana dies and we eat a removal spell. Okay. Now we can bring back Scrappy Scrounger. Oh, geez. That is not good. So I guess now I can play defense. So I can, like, exert on the Scarab God, attack with both. And then keep my Scrap Heap Scrounger in my graveyard to defend myself from the Scare of God activation. And then if my opponent blocks with God, it comes back. Like they can block Ragavan, block here, puts them back a turn. I'm in trouble no matter what, no matter how we skin this cab. But I think we're going to do attack and then exert on this Scare of God. But then they can just block and bring back the Nikki B. 
So I guess we're not going to exert. And then we're just going to hold the Scrappy Scrounger in my graveyard to just um, hold Scrappy Scrounger in my graveyard to play around. I guess I should exert. Because whether I exert or not, they're just going to trade here. And this just prevents this from blocking. So like, if I attack, my Glory Bringer is going to die. So I might as well exert to make it so Scare of God can't block anything else. And I can at least get him for three points. I don't know if this is like a right thing to do or not. Because they're just going to trade here, take three, bring back Nicol Bolas. But I think it's the best thing that we've got going on. There's so many ways that they just they kill this glory bringer. Yeah, so if they double block here, then we just kill Scare of God. And then I think that we just hold our Scrap Heap Scrounger to try and prevent my opponent from bringing back anything but Nicol Bolas. And it's not like we're really beating the Bolas, I don't think, but my opponent should definitely draw step Nikki B. Yeah, so we got we got lucky here. I think my opponent should have draw step their Bolas though. They might have another land, you never know. That was a nice turn for us. We get to like waste four there mana. That's rough. So we're just gonna attack. I'm gonna attack with everything because I can then still bring back my scrap heap scrounger. Just trying to push damage. And I'll probably just exile my P and K. Okay, so my Scrap Heap Scrounger comes back. It's going to come back, I guess. Or I don't have to bring it back. Okay, so now we're just going to pass. I'm like a disintegration away from being okay. I think I'd rather have them get back Nikki B than any of my creatures. Because they at least they can't eternalize it, right? Exile Nicol Bolas and it's a token, so it just dies. This is going to make them ditch my land. Yeah, like Pia is pretty good. Pia just stabilizes the board so well. The Pia is going to be tough to beat. <clears throat> if I draw Disintegration, I've got like a shot. So now, now they can, now they can make you be again, so... I'm going to bring my Nikki B or the Scare of God, so it's probably going to be tough now. I think they should do this right now. Or my upkeep. Yeah, we're just dead. Tilt. So we didn't see any Siphoners, so maybe they boarded out their Siphoners. So we want to try to board in such a way that's a little more aggressive. Like maybe Heart of Kieran is good on the play. But I don't know what I'd take out. Like I guess I could take out these duresses and bring in Heart of Kieran on the play. Yeah, that seems alright. Just get a little more aggressive. I don't know if this is right to do or not, but I don't play I don't play too too much standard. Just dipping my toe in today. It's more just by feeling what we're gonna be doing. I probably should put up Owen Turtonwald's article in Star City Games. I would like to play first. This hand's slow, but it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna keep it. I can deal I can kill something. If they play a siphoner on two, I can kill it with my chain whirler. And lightning strike can help with Liliana, I guess. Love a two drop here. Scrap each grounder or nice. I'd like a land after this. Land would be great. Nothing. Okay. It's a good draw. So we're going to swing first. And then probably play Pia because we could do something with this. Like this can still hit a Siphon or a Champion. I don't know if they have Siphon or a Champion. 
I would assume they have Siphoner. I would say that we would have seen Siphoner if they had it. And we're just going to jam it because their Ether Hubs are only blue source. So we're just going to jam into them. And if they counter this, they're out of energy. Yep. So I don't have any energy. Or no, probably no untapped blue next turn. Spray this. Okay, so we really want to land here. Nice. So I'm going to play Phoenix because Chandra doesn't trade with anything. And if my opponent goes like Nikki B, then I'll hit it with Chandra. I don't want to just do nothing with Chandra and then get it contempted. I contempt that. Okay. So now we're going to just try to like do a little tempo play here. Roll this up for mana, play Scrap Heap Scrounger. My opponent does have five cards. Okay. So again, they have so much removal that it's tough to uh, it's tough to keep pace. Scrappy Scrounger is a good card to do that, unless they have another spray. So they ditch the hub. All right. And we're going to play Chain Whirler after combat, I think. Okay. So you got to run out of resources at some point, man. We kind of get owned by Bolas either way with the discard, so might as well get this guy in play. I hope they don't Bolas my lightning strike. Nope, they didn't. Okay. One-time dealer. You got a counterspell. You got a Varaska's Contempt. A Gear Hulk would be vomit-inducing. Like, we get wrecked by Gear Hulk here, but that's just going to happen. If they don't have Torrential Gear Hulk, then we're in good shape. This is a torrential gear hulk. Ugh. So they hit this, eat the chain whirler. I guess I could have played around that, but if they don't have it, then it's just so bad for them. But that's pretty that's pretty tough for the home team. Then we're gonna go into Lily into Scarab God. Yeah, this game's over. Yeah, I guess I could have I could have played in such a way to give me a chance there, but if they don't have it, then the game's just like super over. So I probably took like a pretty risky line of play. I didn't spend too too much time thinking about it, and I think that I could have at least sent with the scrapping scrounger and not the chain whirler would have been better. I'm not sure I beat that start from my opponent, but it at least gives me. Like I, I don't I doubt I beat God into um or Hulk into God, but it at least gives me a shot to do it. We're almost done this league. We've only been live for an hour. Standards quick. What a what a joke. Businessinsider.com. People are donating money to Kylie Jenner to help her become the world's youngest female billionaire. Dude, what a joke. That's so ridiculous. Like, take if you're gonna donate money, don't donate it to somebody that's gonna be a billionaire. Like, they don't need it. That's crazy. It's right here. That's wild. This is wild. Oh my god. What a world. What a world we live in. What a crazy world. I saw this. Did I miss a... I must have missed it when I was tilting off about the world giving Kylie Jenner money to become a billionaire. What a joke. I did miss it. I was so sad. This right here, chat, this is the cutest puppy on Twitch. 
Say hi, Phil. Say hi, Philly boy. It's the stream mascot. I would like to play first. Yeah, that turns pretty good. We go one, two, untap land three. Finish this league three and two. Run back. Run it back another one here. I wonder if I'm. Hey, Ben, how are you doing? Yeah, we're playing some standard today. This is what I think my uh, teammate's going to play at uh, Star City Games Philadelphia. So just giving it a whirl. It's literally Owens 75. We're playing against zombies. We're playing against zombies three times this league. So now I kind of want to play this Canyon Slow and um, play Bodad so that we can Chain Whirler next turn. Though Chain Whirler probably won't be great because they don't have a super big um, board. But with Soul Scar Mage, it should be fine. Like we can at least like shrink this and attack. I do think that this deck wants one more Soul Scar Mage if this Zombies deck is good. How are you doing, Ben? What is it? Is it about noontime where you are? If I had to guess. Alright, so this is worth Chain Whirling, I think. Just shrink it. Shrink everything. And I think I'm okay just attacking with both creatures. If they, like, there's such a go-wide synergy deck that if I can just trade off, I want to trade off. Is it, is it standard or is it uh, modern, Ben? Midday? Yeah, so they trade here. They leave us our Bodad, which is pretty sweet. Chain Whirler is going to do pretty well on this board. <clears throat> I think this deck wants one more... Um, like I said, I think I think it wants one more Soul Scar Mage. Yeah, see that's kind of a beating. So hopefully I either find a way to kill that or can put enough pressure on. Jeez. So I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue even I'm gonna attack with this Bomat Courier because I'm not gonna get rid of it because all the cards are good. Play this list, nice. I think you want one more Soul Scar Mage. This is the third time I played Zombies in this league. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play Chain Whirler, or I'm going to attack with both and then play Pia. Because then I can play, like, double Scrap Dad next turn, or I can um, play Hazret. I probably can't play Hazret, because if I have to draw a land and play it, then I still have two cards in hand. But if they want to trade, they want to trade. My hand's pretty good, so I'm not going to cash this Bomat Courier in. When is the PTQ run? I could see, but I'm, I'm right in the middle of the game. Yeah, we'll take this. And then play Pia. Just because it's mana efficient. We can go double two next turn. Okay, so they did have the push. This could, this could get pretty wild for us. I don't know why they didn't... I guess they had to block in order to push. <laughs> yep, we're starting to get wild. Now my scrap heaps don't do anything. Alright, so let's attack. Then play Soul Scar Mage, play Scrap Heaps Grounder. If we draw land... We can play Hazret, but Liliana can like deal with Hazret eventually. Five hours. So that's gonna be a late PTQ for you, Ben. That's probably the European struggle though, right? Jeez. Wow. We're just dead six ways to Sunday now. Unless, unless my opponent literally has nothing for the rest of the game. All right, 
Okay, so I think we're gonna just trade this, get this out of here. I just need to like manage this board. I guess it doesn't really do anything to the board. All right. Okay, so can I race my opponent? Yeah, I think so. Because this means my opponent's dead next turn. This is then I'm dead to like any pump effect. Yeah, whatever. Like they have to chomp next turn. If they a uh, swing on out. Okay. Oh, I didn't do my math right. Shoot. I thought I was at 15. Went right over my head. It's too early. It's too early for me. I thought I was at 15. All right. So I think I'm going to board the same way that I've been boarding. Um, on the play. I've been bringing these in on the play. Um, I've been actually cutting Bomat Courier because they clogged the board up so well. So well, excuse me. What else did I cut? I can't remember. I played this deck so many times this league. I've kept my Chandra's in on the play. But I've cut them after sideboarding. Maybe I didn't bring the Doomfall in. I don't know. Oh, I boarded, I boarded similar to what Owen did against, um, when they were playing a Mono Red Mirror. I cut the Kari's Zabs because, like, they go wide, and it's the Kari's Zab doesn't do anything. I'm going to try this. And then on the draw, I was cutting a couple Chandras. I have no idea if that's good to do or not, but it seems like the removal, like, the matches that I won, so I'm 1-1 one one against this deck in this league. The games that I've won, I've had early removal. The games I haven't, I haven't had that. So I'm going to keep this. We have like an abrade and a chain and a disintegration and a scrap heap. So if we just draw lands, we're in good shape. If our, four, if our next two draw steps are just land land, we're probably gonna win the game. The flyers are also pretty good. So nice. So we're just gonna run this scrap heap scrounger right into a fatal push. Bang. Got it. So hopefully my opponent plays like a metallic mimic. Ooh. So I think if my opponent wants to use their entire next turn to make a 2 2 zombie, I think that's okay. I'm just going to play this chain whirler to get on the battlefield so that if they do make a zombie, I can go Chandra Nugget. And then still have a blocker. Okay. Block. I'm going to hit this this turn with Chandra. Okay, so now we don't need any more lands the rest of the game. Please. Now they're going to have to contempt this Chain Whirler. Which is like they're using a contempt. They could dead land. They still can't dead lands it. They could play Liliana and give it minus minus, but that's still we still eat this. Okay, the three two party is in. Okay, so let's play our Ether Hub. Play Scrap Heap Scrounger. And then I'm probably going to end up disintegrating one of these. I just don't want to do it right now. Wait till for them to like commit mana. They could like contempt this, kill my Chandra. Then I'll probably disintegrate. And then it's like this versus this. And I have two abrades versus the two cards in their hand if they don't play a land. And I get a draw step. So I'm probably like, a I think I'm a little bit ahead right now. 
if this shot if I don't have a shot on way ahead, okay. So I think we just kill this lord. Give him the D. Okay, it's like a good draw, so it's plus. Okay, nug him for two. So now we're just gonna swing with both and then play Chain Whirler after combat. And ha still have a braid. Okay. Wonder if it was right for my opponent to uh no, they've been using their mana. But it's not been right for them to hold up here. So they can deadlands. They can deadlands my chain whirler. And then I'll probably just chump in a braid, because then I can bring back Scrap Heap Scrounger and keep Chandra in play. And then I can like nug something with Chandra and then have an empty board. That seems like the plan. The Chandra was really good on the play here. Yep, so we're gonna Deadlands. My Scrap Heap Scrounger, okay. That seems like a misclick. Unless they have a fatal push to follow it up. Okay. So what are they doing? They send in both. Just okay, so now we're just gonna bring back our scrap heap scrounger. Let our let this die. Or not. I mean, it's going to die anyways. We're not going to fight over it. We're just going to get back on the battlefield. Not block. Put our opponent to one. And then I think I'm just going to double abrade these. Because I don't want my opponent to, like, exile my scrap heap and make a guy for free. They do have quite a bit of mana. I'm gonna hold my land. So this is a Liliana's Mastery. They're still in it, but we had to bring back our. We had to like chew through both tokens and bring back our Scrap Heap Scrounger while keeping our Chain Roller in play. Yeah. All right, here we go for the for the cash. So on the draw, I've thought about bringing in like some Kari Zevs for blockers, but I think like Kari Zev doesn't really do a lot. Like blocking against this deck is horrible, and I guess the Chandras are probably just that good if you can play them on a stable board. So I think we're just gonna keep it. Like I could see cutting a Scrap Heap Scrounger and bringing a Kari Zev in play. Maybe one more Scrap Heap Scrounger, being a little more defensive. Yeah, we'll give that a whirl. The hearts might not be too bad, but they're kind of it's tough to it's tough to like reliably crew it on the draw, because I think you have to like not play it's hard to play creatures on the draw. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this hand. Like these cards are pretty solid. We've got a one drop. We just need to draw like a, some interaction. We have probably 12 or 13 removal spells in the deck. So this this might go absolutely awful though. All right. Well, 
That was probably our best draw. A Magma Spray or an Abrade would be really good. I'm just going to trade, I think. Yeah, I think I'm just going to trade. Even though like there, there's value to having Soul Scar Mage in play, this deck goes wide and tall. Yeah, we're just going to trade. Like, If I miss next turn, then I'm in so much trouble. And I can't even play this Chain Whirler on curve right now. Yeah, we're just gonna play this and pass. I think that getting having a shot at Chain Whirler next turn is more important than playing Kari's Ev. The freaking swamp, man. Alright. Alright. Well, at least now we're at least on the battlefield. Punk's only got three cards left. And this Chain Whirler blocks really well. You're going to contempt this. Okay. So I think I'm going to actually hit this Lord of the Accursed with this Chandra. Because this can get a menace and that's going to deal a lot of damage. And then it makes it so that without a... Uh, they have a Fatal Push that's going to suck. But um, without another Lord effect, we have good blocks. And they might just go for me. Like, they might play a Lord, go for me. Okay. I think they should go one and one. I think it's too greedy to just... Yeah. So, two mana removal spell or a... Um, or land. That's what we needed. Which one do I kill? Probably this, because I can't have them making a two. Making a, uh, adding more creatures to the board. Skari Zeb holds off both of these creatures. If we had to untap, if we had to like actually block and then play Glory Bringer next turn, we might we might make it. Get to exert on something. Oh baby. Yeah, we're just gonna block here. Take three. Don't play anything. Now we're dead. Glory bringer this, block this, take five. Sad. This zombies deck's impressive. Like I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the zombies deck here. Like this has looked pretty decent.